Pittsburgh is once again on the brink of cutting edge technology, this time to develop hydrogen powered locomotives. And it could pave the way for the future of the rail industry. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 730. I'm Kim Gable in for Megan Schiller tonight. Pittsburgh based Wabtech just signed a deal with General Motors to work together on this exciting new project. This is drone video that Wabtech provided to us showing the prototype that we're talking about. And joining me now live over Zoom to talk about the impact of this is Wabtech VP of Engineering Alan Hamilton. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Good evening. And you know, this is right on trend too. We're seeing more and more collaborations like this, but this one is really significant. Talk about that first. Yeah, you know, the, this is really a big swing. You know, when you think about trying to get to potentially over time, a zero emission uh, type of uh, train set, you know, that requires a lot of technology, a lot of innovation. And really what we're doing with this uh, collaboration with General Motors is taking uh, the best technology that Wabtec has, uh, with the best technology that uh, General Motors has in terms of battery technology, hydrogen fuel cell technology, combining that together, that allows us to de-risk the program, go quicker, and really have a more assured uh, ability to meet this vision. Yeah, and part of that assurance is that assurance that GM is a supplier for Wabtec right now, right, into the future. Yes, exactly. You know, GM has a large uh, industrial base in the United States. Uh, we're two very historic companies. Wabtec's been around for about 150 years, founded on innovation in the rail space with uh, air brake, AC technology, and now really driving for uh, the future of zero emissions. And General Motors has a very similar view in the automobile space, really driving towards that zero emission uh, vision. So, you know, two companies with two similar cu cultures, two similar uh, goals in mind for the future of our country and our world. And, you know, let's talk about impact now for the average person listening and watching, wondering how is this going to impact me and the environment in which I live? Um, impact is key here, isn't it? Yeah, it, it really is. And, you know, in the near term, what we're really doing is thinking about how we take this technology, introduce it into a train trains are very large in the United States, have multiple locomotives. There's a potential to reduce the amount of fuel that's burned by up to 30% in the near term. And just to put that in perspective, a typical locomotive burns about 300,000 gallons of diesel fuel a year. So it's really big numbers. And then in the long term, thinking about the combination of battery technology and uh, hydrogen technology, we have the opportunity to really go fully for a zero emission solution. And, you know, that's really where we're driving to long term. And of course, that will have a huge uh, impact on our society. Every uh, locomotive that we can uh, completely replace uh, with this alternate uh, energy saves about 3000 tons of CO2 per year. So it's really big numbers. Yeah, that's significant. And when I was doing a little bit of research today, Alan, I actually found that quote about the 30%. The but the uh, president and CEO went on to say, we can't stop there. Right. Talk about the future. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that's just the beginning. And, yeah. and you know, we had a gr great demonstration program in California earlier this year uh, with uh, BNSF, one of our uh, prime customers that we showed the potential of this technology with a demonstrator. We showed we could do this in a safe manner, uh, meet the performance objectives and actually have it seamlessly integrate with their train set. And so now we're moving on to uh, from technology demonstrator to real products. And that's what really has us excited as we've been working on this for a long time. And really the collaboration will with uh, GM will really be an accelerator for us. So it's a great, great opportunity. And happening right here in Pittsburgh. Alan Hamilton, thanks so much for joining us and breaking that down for us tonight. Thank you very much.